right. I have to be the first person to save the world to hit the 900 with the new drift board. All right. Oh, damn. Okay. If I do this, I want my Headhunter Pro Skater Series Epic. I swear to God, I'd better get the Tony Hawk treatment if I hit the 900. Oh, 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 so close. That's okay. That's all right. We can do it again. Do it again. It's no problem. No one else has thought of this in Save the World. Maybe Battle Royale, but this is a whole new realm. I don't care about that Battle Royale stuff. I need to do it here in Save the World. Let's get it. Come on. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah! All right. Now that we've established that I am the greatest drift boarder in Save the World, <laughs> I will be taking my Headhunter Pro Skater series. Epic. So, uh, <laughs> with that being said, let's get on with the video. Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy Destiny Trent, aka Trent, and the content update for 7.4 has just went live uh, today. <laughs> DJ Sonic Freak. And I wanted to go over it because the new drift board has dropped. I mean, yeah, no, I was right. I was just saying, uh, it may went out a little bit earlier, but I got it when I got it, so it is what it is, yeah. Anyway, the new drift board went live, and it looks as cool as it did when it leaked for Battle Royale. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, <laughs> I do wish, I do personally wish, and uh, David Dean and Demon Joe have said it too. I kind of wish that this was more of a permanent thing. Like you could upgrade your hoverboard to the new drift board. Something weird has been happening in this zone. And so the hot encampments are going berserk and spawning huge waves of enemies. Whatever's happening, right we need to stop it from spreading. When you find an active encampment, be ready to fight until the end. According to my data, we have 20 minutes to neutralize the They're not, so David Dean, when he first kind of got in, he thought that, uh, they, uh, that you had to kill Husk to get him, but, uh, that's not the case. They're just on the ground everywhere, which is pretty lame. They're pretty cool, but they're slow. Like, really slow in comparison to like your regular hoverboard you have a boost but it doesn't last very long yeah it doesn't last very long and it doesn't act like if you guys know battle royale is like ATVs they kind of blast through everything and destroy structures which is cool but just don't do that. You have a higher jump though. Which is nice, but again, slow. So, like I said, I do wish it was a permanent thing, but I figured, hey, I don't think a higher jump and a boost really can justify this being an upgrade of really good standard so I thought what what can be done to this hoverboard that would make this the great a great upgrade to the regular hoverboard aside from a nice little uh, upgrade in movement speed this higher jump and being able to get points for the tricks so I thought to myself, well, they're reworking heroes, why not rework the heroes with this new board? Like, kind of like, include the board, aka, here's, here's the big reveal, 
why not for the board every hero class gives it a specific special ability you know what I mean so like if you're a soldier you get a you get like a ability that only soldiers can do you get a outlander you can do an outlander You, you get the point at this point, right? Each class has an ability the board can do. I say you give it a passive ability and a kind of attack ability. You know what I mean? Just something for, for everybody. And like I said, with the new hero we work, Kind of veering towards an uh, more inclusive kind of hero setup and all. I don't think it would be a bad idea. <laughs> Back to what I was saying. So, I kind of went over this in my head on what ability, as far as what passive and what kind of like attack or offensive abilities that could be given to the hoverboard for each class. And uh, as far as the passive and for both, I got it down for the Ninja and the Outlander because it's, it's kind of easy for them. Well, mainly the Ninja. The Outlander soldier and constructor for more passive abilities. That's that's a bit harder for me to figure out. But uh, essentially, the idea is that there's a passive ability and a more attack focused ability. There's something for everybody to do. So it's like the board can be used in almost every situation. I mean, I would I would assume you'd use it for a passive ability alone, but should you get into some hot situation like I did, you don't have to worry about them just knocking you off. Which is a passive ability on its own. You don't get knocked off. At least in my opinion. It'll slow you down, but it won't knock you off. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway. So let's talk about these abilities that I'm thinking of. So for the ninja, since that's the easiest for me, I was thinking a passive ability for the board would be, you know, since ninjas can kind of scale things easily, double jump with that and get over that you know what I mean for passive ability ninjas can ride up walls with their boards so you moving around you press square you ride up the wall if you press X before you jump off the wall and hold back on the analog stick you'll do a cool backflip trick get you some extra points I'll talk about points in a minute, but you get the point, right? So you hold the direction, jump and forward, we'll move forward, and hold it back. Sonic free, free. You'll do that, essentially. <laughs> wow, that's the first time I've done a backflip. <laughs> no, that's really the first time I've done a backflip. But, but we'll, we'll make it unique for a, uh, uh, so a ninja. Oh, I said that For a ninja, it'll happen a lot faster. It'll be like you can do a double backflip before you hit the ground. And uh, for an attack, is essentially the board can do the dragon slash. Yeah, no, that's, that's it. The board can do the dragon slash. Board Dragon Slash, because it's on a board, has more distance than the regular Dragon Slash. And the effect 
stay on just a little bit longer. But it has a longer recharge time, so you can't go around spamming the board drive. You have to be a little bit smart. So you can't do it. Rely on the board to do your dragon slash for you. Dragon slash isn't the board dragon slash is stronger. It just lasts longer. D D D J Sonic Freak. field the base and anytime 30 husk get killed on his base it sends out a, an explosion essentially your hoverboard will act as a decoy you get off it and kick it into any direction that's, that's, that's the animation portion of it and it'll like tick like a bomb like a ticking time like a time bomb you can kick it into the direction the husk will go rushing to it and when it stopped, three seconds, and then it'll explode. Like the explosion from the base. I thought that'd be cool. I thought that's pretty cool for it, you know? Passive, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they can build while they're on it. I, I don't know. I just thought of them. I, I just I thought of a good passive for it. If they're skating on a player built structure, they can recycle the materials while they're on it. You get some materials as they ride along that structure. Like every five seconds, you're getting some materials back on it. So if you're skating on something made of wood, you'll get some wood back. You know what I mean? So, and 
made the other material as well. I just thought that that would go The soldier is the hardest one because the soldier doesn't have anything really movement based that I can go off of. They don't have, they really don't have a lot uh, going off of themselves. It's kind of like the same thing as the structure, but like I said, they have to decoy and then there's a the base with a uh, heavy base Kyle that I thought could be useful. But the soldier was a bit hard to think of. And I got a couple things. Uh, one offensive ability is it'll shoot like a turret. Like one of your turret drones. That's one. Take it down. You press square and it'll shoot in any direction. Essentially, it'll hit his target. There's a husk in front of you. It'll shoot him. It'll do that. I also thought of... Uh, essentially, it'll imitate the shockwave. But it'll do... It'll have a higher range. It'll do a bit more damage. Just a higher and a larger range. Here, done, okay. Next one's you get what I'm trying you to say. It. it has more range. Found one. Check out your map. The higher your jump, essentially you have to jump, press whatever button that the ability is going to be tied to, or buttons. <laughs> It'll do. The board is essentially going to slam down. So if you're like in the middle of a jump, it'll just slam down. So like, it'll essentially just do it like that. And the higher your jump, the more damage you do. Five minutes left. I just, I just thought that'd be cool. Uh, I think that was really all I can think of for soldiers. I couldn't really think of a passive that will benefit the soldiers. I'm sorry. But those are my ideas. I thought it'd be a cool idea to think of. Why not give this hoverboard? Should it become permanent? some perks within the hero the next one. Check out Make it useful. But that was all I can really think of. If I can, if I can think, if you guys have any ideas for passes for the constructor and outlander and soldier, let them all them out. I, I'd, I'd be happy to listen. It really does, like, to me, it benefits those who don't have certain, especially with, like, some of the attacks, like, for certain abilities that heroes don't have, the hoverboard can kind of pick up the slack. So, for instance, like, if you're a soldier, I'm, I'm pretty sure all soldiers, no, no, Calamity doesn't have shockwave, so it'll benefit Calamity to have that. A lot of the constructors don't have that explosion and that enough that little explosion from the base like having the power does. So it would, it would benefit them to have that. Not only that, they also don't have a decoy that'll be damaged, so the saying, I'm just saying. I think almost every for almost every outlander has base unless I'm missing out on somebody. But you get what I'm trying to say. Search, destroy, 
But as far as passives, what what could be a good passive? Found one. Check out your map. If you guys know anything, let me know. If you have some ideas, please let me know. Uh, so let me do a real quick recap of everything I just said because I feel like I, I forgot this video had some interruptions. But uh, let me go ahead and recap. So I said that. It would be a good idea if they included the hoverboard in the Halo rework so that to make this hoverboard and even or driftboard, I keep saying hoverboard, driftboard, could be even better aside from it being an amazing upgrade in the hoverboard with the boost and the higher jump and the ability to get some tricks, which I forgot to talk about the points, I still have some time, uh, make it make it work with the hero rework by letting the board get abilities with a certain class whereas the main slot for a hero is the one that affects it not what not what other heroes you got no no loadout um, hey guys better luck next time so for one so i said that the, the ninjas their passive ability is the ability to purposely wall by scale like mountains and stuff normally stuff they can't double jump they can wall ride and to make use of the tricks doing a backflip like they'll do a double backflip what do they call it a lazy flip a lazy flip yeah. either way do a double one of those and then from there you can do 180 rodeo, whatever, whatever, whatever trick you want to do, and essentially get some more points on it. And the board gets the dragon slash for offensive ability. Uh, Outlanders, they're passive. I just thought of it right now. They get the board will give them keen eye, like they'll be able to find chess other things of that nature through the bullet. And their offensive ability face that does knock back damage and has a longer distance. Constructors, I said their passive ability was if they're riding on a structure, they can recycle the materials from said structure every five or ten seconds their attack decoy board with a gigantic nova explosion as david dean would call it because i would assume he knows what i'm talking about when i brought up heavy base and the soldiers you have a plethora from there you get a shock wave uh or a turret passive i mean attack passive I'm still working on. So there it is. If you could even understand my ideas through this video, uh, let me know what you would like to see. The, if, first of all, if you want the drift board to be permanent, yes, and you like my ideas as a whole. <laughs> if not, I apologize. But if you survived the video. <laughs> you like my ideas and want to actually see them implemented uh let me know what you would like to see epic do with the board do you think the board as it is right now would be a perfect upgrade do you think it should have a boost in movement so that the boost <laughs> that you get is at least stacked you know do my abilities make any sense you you'll let me know so with that being said, it's, it's been your boy Destel and Trent. I struggled getting through this video and I apologize for that, but I got through it. <laughs> it's been your boy Destel and Trent, aka Trent, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.